Why did you not tell me? You will bleed to death. <sighs> it is just a flesh wound. We must ride on. You passed out. This wound may become infected if I do not see to it. <sighs> Let us go on. Please. Hush. They will not find us in such a storm as this. You must rest. You could escape me. The building is empty. We can pass the night here. It's probably him. Ron, tell a village elder. <laughs> Where can I find the village elder? Are you that bounty hunter? Not many of you left in Telmonte. Aye. Look upon a rarity while you can, for I shall be gone soon. The village elder will be here directly. They have found another body. I shall wait. Your sister is alive. Be in Telmont during the second week of harvest. Wait for us there. We will find you. Be patient, and no one will be harmed. Hmm, tis the harvest season here now. <laughs> the harvest will be bountiful this year. Sadly, not all will be able to rejoice with us. Good day to you. Are you the village? As you wish, though twill be wiser to wait until dawn. I do not have sufficient time. I'll go no further than this. Go straight down to the gates there. Do you fear this place so much? We're peasants, not soldiers. Since the dwarves weren't north, Tis only groans that visit this temple. Return to the village. You have done your part.
Tranquila. I'm alive again. that. Let's have a look. to follow me. Why are you here? The village elder sent me. He wanted me to bring you the payment should you not return to the village. And why should I not go back there, pray? Uh, some people came to Cormoran when you left. They asked for you. People? Tell me more. Swiftly now. Warriors. Hard ones. Not very friendly. One of them stayed to await your return. Ha! The Elder clearly thought I would run rather than meet this man. Forsooth, it was generous, but he now has lost the chance to save money. I do not understand. Where I come from, no one pays unless forced to. Nay, in Talmont, we honor good work. It would appear I have much to learn of Talmont. Will you return with me? But that tough stranger... He should have been here a long time ago. Mayhap a friend of yours? No, but he has something for which I have searched for a long, long time. Pray tell me, friend, exactly where can I find him? In a hut, south of the village. The mayor offered him better lodgings, but he refused. I have never seen an orc in my life. Groms and bandits are our plague, and the Skeldenhaus men are the worst of the bandits. They put you to work in the mines if they think you sympathize with the rebels. Who are these rebels? Ultar Karga was once the ruler of Talmont, but an edict of King Emery's forced him to hand over to the House of Skeldon. Five years ago, that was. We all thought we had seen the last of him. But then they returned. And with them came the rumor that Lord Skeldon had hatched a plot against the king himself. Is there any truth behind this rumor? How can we common villagers know of events in court? I can tell you only that Ebrat Skeldon proved many times that he cares only for the good of the house. Since Skeldon's rule of Talmont began five years ago, things have gone bad. Every village is isolated now. Could this be why you hired me when you could have called the guards? Ebrat Skeldon, the leader of the ruling house, concerns himself only with rebels. We have learned to solve our own problems. I saw no patrols on the roads. Guards are afraid of the rebels. Altar Kaga wants to regain power, and his Karga clan is all over the mountains here. Be cautious.
That's interesting. Aha! It's closed. So... Who turned up the heat? Oh, Let's have a look. Renda! Ah, Satan! Ah, 
Moment. Stranger in Talmont? I have not seen you here before. You are a Brotherhood man, eh? What are you doing so far up north? The Brotherhood has many interests all over the country, and Talmont is no exception. Wait. I recognize you. You are the bounty hunter. Are you seeking employment? Perchance. Visit Delorna, the horse breeder and supplier. Speak with him. He has demanded protection from the Brotherhood, but we do not have anyone who can help him at this time. Thanks. I will think about it. You are not an easy man to follow. It took us months to find you. Hold. Who are you? My name is Gandahar. The message you received was from me. I came to Talmont as soon as I read it. Why are you so cautious? My masters will tell you everything. I am only a messenger. Where is my sister? I saw her only a few days ago. I can assure you that she is in good health. Nothing will happen to her if you do as we say. If you harm one hair of her head. You waste my time. Do you know the Goat's Cave south of here? Aye, I do. My masters await you there. I recommend you listen to them first before you do anything hasty. Why will they not meet me here? I told you, I am only a messenger. Listen to them, and no one will be harmed.
What's that? It's good to see you still in one piece, friend. You seem to be in fine fettle. Ferid, I should have known you would end up in a place like this. So the society finally had enough of you, eh? How true. My future in the society looks bleak. Is your research such a problem then? No, my friend, quite the opposite. But certain people just cannot work with a genius. I have assembled a perfect copy of a genuine activator. It is something radical. What do you mean? Ancient teleport sites like this one behind me only function with special activators. Each teleporter has its own activator. Unfortunately, we have only found a few of these elven wonders, but if my prototype works, then we shall not need them. A few more tests and it will be ready. Well, here you are, so you may as well assist me, just for old time's sake. Take this activator and activate the neighboring site. These things send a message here when activated, and I need to be here to receive it. For you, surely. Where is the site? I will mark it plainly on your map. The society found out that the orcs invaded because of religion. The orcs and religion? Hard to believe somehow. It is said that a mysterious holy man is going among the tribes, prophesying the return of Aziral. Bah, superstition. Didn't the orcs nail him to the gates of Gorgamar, like they did with all those false prophets before? I do not know, but I do know that the tribes have united for the first time in history. This war is the most serious conflict to erupt in 300 years. Go cautiously, friend. <laughs> We go. I feel life again. Mercenary. I heard about your conduct in the temple. I believe I could use someone like you. Is there a problem? Well, last year, many people from Comoran left to settle in a new village, which they called Rumhill. I told them it was too close to a glacier, but they did not listen. I have not received any news from them in a long time, and... Well, I, I need someone to go there and find out if all is well. I thank you. Snow orcs live on that glacier, and those beasts are horrible. They eat human flesh. I fear for the villagers. 
Farewell. Ah, uh, you are the mercenary of whom I have heard. Welcome. This sounds as if you're in need of my modest talents. Indeed. I have a small problem and I want someone whom I can trust. How do you know you can trust me? Ferret Redissimus, a friend of mine, told me that you are trustworthy. Now to business. I need a gift for my wife. It is her birthday soon and she loves mountain crystals. I know of one called the Moon Eye, especially large and beautiful. Edwin of Broomhill has this crystal. He is an old friend and will probably sell it to me with no hesitation. <laughs> Take this 500, it is a fair price for the crystal. Go to Broomhill and find Edwin. He will sell you the crystal. How much is my share? Trust me, you shall not be disappointed. <laughs> Farewell. <laughs> Let's have a look. What's that? Won't open.
Turned up the heat. Let's see.
Bowser. I do not seek trouble. I am just passing through. Ah, oh, I thought you were one of those scoundrels. Is something afoot? Oh, last week, three men broke into my house. They told me they want to buy my car for one piece of gold, and I should move out. And? I told them to stick their gold where the sun never shines. So they broke two of my ribs, and they gave me a few days to change my mind. Could you do it? If you succeed in thwarting them, I will give you one of my horses. Ah, I know what you mean. How Skeldon insists they gave us law and order. But in truth, they do not care about the province, unless it affects their business. And the Brotherhood? Not interested in protecting their supplier? If my horses had a better bloodline, things would be different. But at least they pay me. Well, most of the time anyway. Farewell. Let's have a look. Like that. That's interesting.
is locked. What do you want? Did you see the twin gates? I don't know how the dwarves built them. They must have ways and means we can only dream about. Welcome, traveler. Well met. Mmm, that strong smell, tis alcohol. I thought it was banned in Tarbakin. Nay, tis but vinegar you smell. Your nose deceives you. Hold, tis not my intention to tell the guards, but I would like to know where you get it. Shh, I make my own, and even sell to those I trust. Can I trust you? You sell real spirits, not just wine or ale? Shh. I. But I have a problem. I sent a shipment to Tarbakin some time ago, and it never reached its destination. And now I heard there is a bandit on the road. Have you no more? I will make some, but I am more worried about the road to Tarbakin. If it is unsafe, my trade will die. By the way, you look like a mercenary. You are one, hmm? I, I work for myself. So do some work for me, then. What kind of work? A favor for all us merchants. The guards do nothing apart from collecting taxes. So I, Dras Becklin, am prepared to pay you a considerable sum of money for making the roads safe for travel. What do you say? That bandit stopped my courier at the edge of the forest, outside Covengore. Mayhap a good place to start, hmm? Do not fret. I will find him. I have hired a confident man. Splendid. I and may you get some soon. What do you want? <laughs> You're new. Are you from Hagrest? Should I know him? Hmm. You look like one of his men. Abrad Skeldon hired a group some time ago. Strong, they say. But for me, a waste of time and money. We must deal with our problems ourselves. And you are? I serve the House of Skeldon, the strongest and proudest of all the noble houses of Catalan. We rule in Talmont. Why are you here in this place, then? Hunting. One of the woodcutters was a Karga leader, but he was warned and fled before we arrived. The rebels know all of our moves before we even move. They are as the wind. Who is this leader you seek? Gon Cronach, from the clan Karga. One of the villagers from Kovangor, 
told us his whereabouts for 20 gold pieces. I was told that the rebels have many loyal men in the villages. Peasants have no backbone. Rebels when they have to pay taxes. But you can always buy them for gold. It would seem that not every villager can be bought, or Karga would have been in your hands already. Aye, true. And that snake will be more cautious now. The only chance we have to catch him is to play his game better than he. You need someone the rebels would not suspect. Aye. You, mayhap. Tis dangerous, but well paid. Interested? Tis good. The rebels are scum. But Khan Krana is different. Do not take him lightly. If you find him, you know what to do. We will hear of him no more. Aye. Farewell. Hail, Master Traveler. Well met. You are far from the village. <laughs> it's because I followed a thief to this cave, but I will not enter. Why not? Have you not heard? The cave is full of vicious skeletons. Skeletons, eh? That is not so dangerous, methinks. Oh. Mayhap if you were so bold, then you could get that ring back for me. If you can handle skeletons, a simple thief would be easy for you, methinks. Listen, I cannot pay you, but, but, but I could put in a good word for you with the Brotherhood. My brother is a member. And I can give you this mace to help you fight the skeletons. Tis old, but could help against these monsters. Tis a family heirloom. Passed on to the oldest son for generations. <laughs> it's not even worth a copper coin. That thief had no idea. Oh, you can keep it. I'm no fighter. It would only rust in my hands anyway. Um, he works in the kitchen. But not just any kitchen. He prepares food for the Dracor Rhino, the Grand Master himself. Is he a cook? The best. Farewell. Ah, oh, that's interesting. What's 